Now there's multiple ways you can do this. Not everybody likes to eat a salad that's bigger than their head like I do. So we had to come up with a way, I really love kale. We had to come up with a way that would help people who really are used to a Western diet to be willing to hyper nourish. And that's when we came up with the smoothie solution. And what we found is that if we could get people to put all the nutrition into a blender and blend it up. So you take like 75% of the blender and you just shove kale, um, spinach, which is not cruciferous, but very high nutrient. You know, you put those greens in there. Some people like cabbage, whatever. I like to get power greens from Costco. You get 24 ounces, big giant bag, you shove it in there till it's 75% full. Then you take that handful of flax or chia and you throw it in there. Then you take water hydration and you fill it up to the level of the greens. And then you add fruit, whatever fruit you like, frozen fruit makes it extra delicious, right? Bananas, mangoes, pineapples, and you blend it. And it turns out if it tastes enough like fruit, people will drink it, but it's not a fruit smoothie. Fruit smoothies are usually like anointed by a little bit of green. This is a green smoothie that's going to really get you those results. Now we share tons of recipes. My husband made this website um, called smoothieshred.com where we share for free. You don't even have to like give your email address or anything. You just go there and it's free recipes, free videos, all because we want to help the public. I always say we, you have to save your life. And he always says you have to save your wife, but whatever it is, is your reason. Make sure that you get the recipe. So they taste good because when people go and try to make their own recipe, usually it's a disaster. These are tried and true and good. So just follow those. You don't even have to get my smoothie book. You can just follow the free recipes on the website and you're going to get really yummy smoothies. Okay. And this is what the website looks like. You can see smoothie recipes and videos and all sorts of fun stuff, right? So here's the recipes that are on the website and there's more stuff there, but yeah, it's worth it. Go there. Um, and there's tons of videos there too, in case you haven't gotten tired of my voice yet. Uh, there's lots of videos from both of us that all about what we teach and trying to help people. His is a lot on um, bodybuilding and fat loss. And of course, mine's all about inflammation and disease, but we work together every day. So that's one place, make sure you screenshot it and go there so you can just keep learning for free, right? Um, and so we also have a Facebook page that you can join that's a smoothie solution. <clears throat> and that's also, it's just a free community that we have um, where we help people every day who have questions and want to support each other. You know, everyone with the green mustache who wants to share what they're doing. And it's really cool. You know, people are losing in incredible amounts of weight. Um, eight pounds, two inches off the waist. Look at all this um, blood pressure back to normal in one month off coffee and anxiety meds and anxiety and sinus meds, uh, down 11 pounds, lupus going into remission, running. So all of this stuff is really cool. And people are just sharing their results for free. So what I want to leave you with at the end is really the other side of it, which is what you can do right now to make a difference in your life. Okay. Um, so number one, at least add what you're missing hyper nourish, right? And if you want a deeper nosedive, like I said, into all the science behind it, go ahead and take it, but don't let that stop you from taking action and just go ahead and do it. Face down your fear of the green and embrace it. All right. The other things you need to do have to do with really your psychological mindset. Um, you know, before I focused entirely on disease reversal, I became a trauma specialist and my greatest joy was helping people become trauma resilient and learn that there is a way to reconnect with joy. And a lot of that, I actually learned not from the 12 different certifications in psychotherapies and becoming a brain doctor, but from my grandparents and what they taught me about resilience and truth and joy and, and, and really seeing all that you have in this life rather than a focus on what you might've lost. And so that's a big part of what I teach in rapid recovery. Like I have a group starting another group starting May 20th. We have one that's just finishing up. We have one more week to go a week and a half. Um, and it's extraordinary. The changes that happen in people's lives when they can release anxiety and trauma and depression and learn forgiveness and learn joy. Uh, it's an extraordinary gift to be able to give. So the um, so adding what you're missing uh, in your nutrition is one thing. Um, taking action starting now is something else. Uh, don't wait for New Year's. Don't wait for your birthday. Don't wait till you finish that bag of junk food. Uh, just start. You can start with today. When I'm finished chatting with you, if you want to, you know, go to the fridge and grab a snack, maybe grab a carrot, maybe make a salad. You have a choice. And no matter what happened five minutes ago, you can make a choice right now 
that you're going to do something different, that you're going to do something better for yourself. And so you can do that now. So many people get into this all or nothing mindset. And there's actually, I teach that in my book and in my group that they'll say, oh, I already ate off plan. Guess the day's ruined. No, it's not. No, it's not. You can choose what you do next. And that's the most important thing is just what's next. And you don't have to keep going with what you were doing before. You can continue to choose better. Another thing that I really emphasize in my, in my rapid recovery group and in Goodbye Autoimmune Disease is celebrating every win. Um, when you're focused on loss, when you're focused on what you think is wrong, sometimes you miss everything that's good. And it's such an important thing. It's why I make them celebrate every day in my group because they'll forget. They'll forget. They're so focused on their knee pain that they'll forget that the joint pain in their hands is better and that their energy is better and that all these other things are better. And so I really emphasize ending each day with celebrations. And if this is something that you think you need help with, I encourage you to have a celebrations journal. Get a book where you sit down and every day at the end of the day before bed, you count your blessings. You count everything that's good that day. And the worse your day was, the more blessings you need to come up with. That's what used to help me when I was the sickest. When I was uh, getting chemotherapy, there were some really long nights where I was very ill, vomiting. One night, I was so sick and they gave me a medicine to stop the vomiting. And then I had a side effect where my eyes couldn't close. So now I couldn't sleep. My eyes were stuck open. I'm vomiting. It was a bad night and I had some bad nights, but what used to help me through those nights the most was that I would start counting my blessings in my head of everything that made me grateful from my family to my brain, to the things I wanted to do in this world, to the beauty in this world that I saw, to Star Trek or anything that made me smile until I started crying with just happy tears for feeling so lucky, even in that moment. If you can find a path to celebrate on the worst days, then there's going to be a lot less bad days and things can't bring you down because you can remember how good they are. Celebrating is not a small thing. It's an essential habit for happy people. And happiness is a habit. It's based off of how we think and what we do. So is depression. So making that a habit can really encourage you and motivate you and most importantly, make you enjoy your life. Um, focusing on your why. This is a big thing that I do at the beginning of my group where I want them to picture the life that they are creating for themselves. Now, this is actually us celebrating our 10 year anniversary. And that's why the kids were there. And we put on, I saved my wedding dress. I will wear that as many times as I can. Um, so I saved my wedding dress and we, and we renewed our vows and my little boys were there. Um, this is my why in a picture, right? Uh, I want to grow old with this beautiful man. Uh, we still can't even look each other in the eye more than a few seconds without crying, just in gratitude, both of us. I mean, we have such a beautiful life together um, with each other, with our children and the work we get to do together to help others. My boys are incredible. They are so smart and so sweet and just so loving. Um, and they're, <laughs> my nine-year-old said the other day, he goes, mommy, you're the sugar to my dopamine, which <laughs> is really sweet, but also really smart. I'm so proud of them and everything that they're doing in this world. And my why is bigger than that. You are part of my why. You right there talk, listening to me talk right now, you are a part of my why because my purpose is also to bring hope and inspiration and education and healing into people's lives. And so I need to continue taking great care of myself so that I can help others get to live their dreams and learn how to take care of themselves. So you really need to have a very big why in order to get through the hard times, especially if you're trying to change your diet, right? A lot of people will focus on what they want right now instead of on what they want most, right? Right now, you might want pizza. But if what you want most is to walk through Venice pain-free, <laughs> right, instead of being in pain all the time, you've got to focus on Venice and see the pizza as the enemy that will keep you from Venice, right? That we have to re we have to change how we look at foods that hurt us. That if something is making us sicker, it's not a treat. It is a toxin. And when you can change your mindset and focus on that big why of what you want most in this world, rather than what you want in the moment to get high or deal with a, an emotional issue you're having, that's when you live on a greater level. I just uh, did some big coaching in my group with someone who posted that she ate off plan. She ate buttered toast because she had a fight with her husband and she needed comfort. And I said, that was not comfort. Comfort helps you heal the wound. 
right? If you were comforted, like with therapy, time with your friends, exercise, the wound contracts and you start getting better. But when you eat buttered toast, you are making yourself sicker. If you eat wine or, or did cocaine, it's the same thing, right? You're hiding from the feeling temporarily. But when that, when that rush, that high goes away, underneath it, is the same wound that was there before, but now it's even bigger because you have to add your guilt and shame on top of it for having eaten something that you had said you weren't going to eat. So again, you want to focus on that big why of what you're creating for yourself and you want to discover real comfort. I call it self-care, real comfort that actually makes you feel emotionally nourished. And that's a big thing. There are some people who, even if they eat perfectly, will not get that rapid recovery without doing the emotional work. And that's really why I created my programs like rapid recovery, because there are some people who need to see every day, have someone say, this is what you did. This is how your thoughts are affecting you. This is how your effect, your actions are affecting you. And when they can face that and learn and grow, it changes not just their health in the moment, it changes their life forever. But this, if you're going to start somewhere on your own, figure out what your why is, turn it into pictures, put it front and center for yourself so you can give yourself everything that you truly want rather than whatever you're craving in the moment. Also find a supportive community. I showed you our smoothie shred community, but you know, there's, there are communities out there. You can go online and find plant-based groups or just find groups that, you know, where, where you can find people in your life doing what you do. It's weird sometimes to other people who have known you forever. If you're suddenly drinking a green smoothie instead of a beer <laughs> or a milkshake. Right. Um, and sometimes uh, you can fall prey to what they're doing. You know, my husband always teaches that environment will always win. And so if you don't have a community of supportive people, then you're eventually going to start doing with whatever your group is doing. So it's really important to find a supportive community. And, you know, we have that free group. Maybe there's others in your area, but find a way to surround yourself with people who are doing the kind of things that you're doing. Okay. So that's ours. And because I can't stay here for five hours the way I'd like to, um, I just want to show you where you can also watch my free classes, which are all about how to reverse disease with supermarket foods, but the detailed version. So what I just taught you today, but add another like four hours to it. Okay. And you would just go to goodbyelupus.com and click the watch classes for free. And then you'll see when you get to the website, you just scroll down and then you'll see a thing at the bottom that says um, watch free. So don't do the buying, do the one on this left side here uh, that says here we go. Free classes. Click on that. Watch them for free. Share them with your friends. Learn, get inspired. It has dozens and dozens of case studies. But I want you to learn this. I want you to understand it. And I want you to take action on it because it will change your life. And, uh, and I want you to have that life that you really want. OK, so really important for that. You make sure you check that out. Here's ways to stay in touch with me if you want to take a screenshot. Uh, I'm sorry of that. I'm on social media every day teaching for free. Every single day, I post something to keep people inspired, motivated, educated, and moving forward because it matters to me that you guys stay focused on what you need to do. And a lot of people have told me that they would have gone and eaten something bad, but then I posted something and they went, oh man, thank you. That's what I needed. That's what I'm trying to do to help you guys as much as I can, uh, as often as I can. Um, and of course, if you want to reach me directly, um, that's my info. So you can take a screenshot and be able to do that. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, I hope that you learned a lot. I did want to leave time for questions because I know some of them are just burning, burning, and you need to ask me some questions. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my slideshow. Take that screenshot if you didn't yet. And, uh, and we can move on to the question part of things. 